Hello everybody, Little Grey Bat here. Today we're going to be talking about how to make Virgil's skirt and Yamato. The reason I'm combining both of these videos together is because I had I didn't have a lot of footage for the skirt because it was literally like a few days before the convention. I happened to find it at a yard sale, grabbed it, and I went to e Monk's house and we went crazy on it and got it done and I took a couple photos of it. So it's not hard making this skirt at all. It was shockingly easy and Yamato was not that hard but I already was doing another project working on it by uh, carving and you'll see that tutorial in the future but that is why the two videos are combined in this one. Now you want to do the other side. After you've properly put the pleather over the sheath, you get a ribbon, you tie it on or you glue it on, whichever, and then you have to make the very bottom piece is this. It actually, see, pops off. What's, what I saw is that it looks like a bat, quite literally, and I made the, this part first. Yeah, it kind of got scraped because I dragged it on the ground a lot but you need to put more Mod Podge on it before you put it on to the actual thing under the sheath. But what you do is you make this part first, uh, use saran wrap, stretch this part over, let it harden, and then you make smaller pieces to make it look like a bat wrapping its arms around. Because then watch, we put it back on, and looks like that. Looks perfect. This is what it looks like with the convention sword. That's, but that's what the convention sword looks like with the sheath. And there is something I need to tell you. When working with the warbler or the instamorph or warbler, it's usually summertime when we go into conventions, guys. This melted in the car because I forgot after the con that I left it in the car. This all melted and I had to remake it. It looked much differently before. I had more details, but I just didn't want to... I'm not planning on using this sword for a while for a convention, but you do not, I repeat, do not leave your sword or anything with Instamorph, Warbla, anything in a nice hot car for even a day because it will melt and be dead and sad and just not right anymore so when you're building this just put in that in consideration put that in consideration and on top of it what I used for gluing this on was cement glue and I used clamps so when you're using the little clamps put fabric in between the this and the clamp so it doesn't leave an indentation into it like this so just be careful working on this and you know guys do not bring a real sword into a convention unless it's completely allowed and I just don't do it but like I showed you you can use a sheath from a real sword and then you know carve out a practice one and you can do this so there you go. The real sheath goes to a real sword. This is the wall ornament. But I designed the real sword to look like Virgil's sword for my own personal collection. 
This cannot, I repeat, cannot go to a convention. This is just wall art for myself and for my own personal photos and such on my own property. But what I did was I, this is what the sword used to look like, was this. This one's falling apart. This is the smaller version of this. I peeled off this until I took this apart. The bottom part of the this sword was already broken off. This is what it originally looked like. Was that. So I peeled off the skin to make it for the sheath for the fake sword to take to a convention. But since I did that, I decided why not? So I painted all of this and this to look like the right sword. This is what the sword originally looked like was this. All rustic looking and etc etc. So I painted this white, this black, and this gold. See this is the real sword. This does not go to conventions. Personal collection only. So I just wanted to show you what I did with the original sword so I can actually display this one more than the other one. The other one's for convention, this one's for my own personal collection. I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe and ring that notification bell. If you have any questions on this tutorial, on any of my tutorials, just leave a comment below and the little bat will try to get back to you as soon as possible.